I'm Thomas Ryder and I'm a game designer. I've made uh, games for 13 years now. Uh, I have an education in design. So this art, making art games is kind of new to me. Uh, Mimics is an interactive story for teenagers. Um, it's about teenage life and the emotional struggles that all teenagers go through. There are three main characters and the three characters, they have each their story which intersects once in a while. And when you play the game, you can skip into one of the other person's story on the way. My initial response when I was asked to do an art game for kids was uh, yes, certainly, I'd love to do that because uh, I, really, uh, I really hate art games and I don't know anything about uh, kids or teenagers and I find it really like challenging to dive into to something that I don't know anything about. One of the biggest challenges of making an art or an art game for teenagers or for kids in total is that they will not accept bullshit. I can talk all day about my uh, artistic vision and and be very intellectual about it, but when the day comes, they're gonna pick it up and play it and find it fun or not. So they 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 kind of just cut the bullshit, and and uh, I think that's very inspiring because I can't can't just get away with the crime by explaining it with words. I have to just deliver. Um, the inspiration for Mimics came from uh, those old uh, books when I was a kid. They were like photo novels, they had black and white pictures with, um, with uh, little speech bubbles and there would be a romantic story in those. And I thought it would be interesting to take that concept and put it into a, an interactive story. Um, because it's so very banal and it's in a way it's very stupid, so I thought it would be great to work with that very stupid kind of and simple format in an art perspective. Uh, the music for the game, uh, I intended that to be kind of kids, kids music, and so I tried to make a really like disco music or dance music actually. Uh, you know, like in the 90s, there was this stupid dance period where there would be all these dance hits and, and kids, they immediately picked it up and, and, and thought that this was cool because there was rhythm and it was very easy to understand. And uh, I tried to, to make the, the music like that, but uh, I realized that I couldn't do it at all. There was Immediately there was a lot of me just put into the music and it got to be very kind of dark, uh, dark dance, really spooky thing. And uh, I think it's been really interesting to work with trying to do something and totally failing at it and then something new appears out of that. Uh, the graphics in the game is uh, very inspired by um, Pierre Arnoldi posters. Uh, when I went to design school, uh, we were told that there was this poster artist called Pierre Arnoldi, and we should never ever do something like that. And he was like, don't ever do like him. Uh, so I thought it would be really cool to just work with that expression. It's very colorful and it's kind of primary colors um, and I think it's also very appealing to kids and teenagers, something very colorful. The colors in the game is uh, 
was, was kind of very special to do. I wanted them to be as colorful as they possibly could be. And uh, when you work with screen colors, they have their own kind of logic and their own way of, of mixing. So I had to, uh, to work quite a bit to get them to their extreme. So get the most yellow yellow or the most blue blue so that they would really scream in your head. Um, and it's part of the whole expression for the game, which is which I want to be very extrovert because it's it's a I think there's a contradiction in the game being about teenagers and being very introvert and then having an extremely extrovert expression, and that also ties in with the music, which is also very powerful and extrovert. There's a very dark tone in the game, and that's because my own kind of teenage life was very depressing and dark, and uh, I, I wanted to, uh, to show that feeling in the game, uh, because it's, it's, a, it's a time in your life when you are emotionally very... You have a lot of emotions in your head, and, and you go from being very happy and to being very sad and, and or scared or something and um, I wanted that to be in the that tone to be in the game this kind of teen angst period I don't know if teenagers feel that way today but that was how, how I think me and a lot of other teenagers felt when we, when we were young Uh, I always try to uh, work with um, with something that is unknown to me. I've made a kids game because I don't know anything about kids and I've made tried to make a game for women because I didn't know anything about that. And when I do that, it's it becomes very much a challenge and I have to overcome it and I have to uh, do my very best to understand and to get into that whole uh, that whole way of thinking. And in this case, in the case of Mimics, um, I didn't know anything about teenagers and I didn't know anything about uh, art. I don't know, I, I claim, I think, don't think I know a lot about art. Um, so I'm not really an artist, so. When I've been working with uh, Mimics, I've very much been working with misunderstanding uh, things. For example, the music, which I tried to make very disco, and then it turned out to be very dark because it's my misunderstanding of, of how to make uh, happy dance disco music. I've been trying to work that way with all the, throughout the project. There's something interesting about misunderstanding, you know, when someone tells a story and they don't they didn't really tell the real story but their perception of it and i think the perception especially when it's been told through a lot of people the, the story evolves and uh, and becomes something more interesting than the truth i want people to pick up the game and play play it and have fun. A lot of art kind of requires some kind of knowledge from you that you kind of uh, submit yourself to the, the piece of art and I've tried to do the opposite. I try to make it very easy and very dumb in a way to just pick up and immediately understand it. <laughs> 